Proudly brought to you by Ego Motive, the entrepreneurial organization. If you guys have any questions concerning what I've just said, concerning any questions for that matter, please feel free. Yes? What motivated you to become? Okay, I'm a motivational speaker, so what motivated me to motivate others is your question, right? Basically, um, I was looking for that voice to tell me that I'm worthy, that I can do anything I set my mind to do. So, I waited very diligently for that voice to appear in my life till one Friday morning, can't quite remember the time, it hit me. I was the voice that I was looking for, and I'm the voice that this generation is looking for. I think what drives me is that um, I'm the first son of five kids. I've got twin brothers, I've got an 11 year old brother as well. So, just the thought of me being like, you know, the oldest in the family, sort of, um, what's the word? It, it forces you to mature at a much quicker rate in comparison with other kids my generation. So, I think that's what really motivates me. Yes. Um, how did you go about? I had to go through a, a speech coach by the name Blessing Manipira. He, yes. Uh, so he basically um, teaches you uh, gestures, postures, um, vocal variations, and so on. And um, but public speaking is more like swimming. You can read a thousand books on how to swim, but as soon as you get in the water, you're gonna drown. So it's it's something you have to learn practically. Yeah. Yeah. More questions? Yes. So. Um during that process, what was your biggest obstacle? I think my biggest obstacle was actually a lack of belief in myself. I didn't think I was worthy. I didn't think people would take me seriously. And um, my parents didn't really think it was the right career option for me at that time. So I think um, people's voices was actually the largest constraint in, um, in me um, pursuing this career. But, as, but I think what you have to understand is that you're always going to have voices in, in your life, right? But you have to understand um, which voices matter, right? And um, once you get that out of the way, I think you flourish in any industry. Yes? Okay, so there's this thing that you put in your school. Yes, yeah, so I was actually homeschooled, right? Um, reason being because I was, put in the, um, I was put in the sciences class, but I didn't really like sciences. So I, I decided to become homeschooled, to drop out and become homeschooled and, and pursue business subjects because I'm very business minded, right? So I came up with a stream of A's and B's and then after that I, I skipped A level. I'm actually headed for a um, university in China next week. So, um, sorry, what was the question again? Just <laughs> Um, I'm actually going to pursue a, um, a degree in economics and um, Mandarin, that's Chinese because I want to do my motivational speeches in Chinese as well because um, it's, it's a huge market, right? The Chinese are like billions of people if, if I'm to just fill a stadium and um, each of them pays like 5 yen each I'll be a millionaire overnight so yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's my game plan I, I, I get a, a token for appreciation. So, do they call you or you go to them? At this stage, I'm the one that actually um, goes to them. Yeah. Yes. How long have you been doing this? Uh, since the beginning of 2016. What is your main goal? Like, what is your absolute main goal? My main goal. I think um, my main goal is to is to help people realize their full potential and become their greatest version. Yes. I think, I think you should just dedicate yourself to being better than yesterday every single day. Yeah. I think that's my main objective.
Yes? You said that you didn't believe in yourself. Um, what made you, what made you change that mindset? Mostly experience. I, uh, I, I sort of realized that not believing in, in yourself does not get you anywhere, right? So um, I just decided to give it a shot, and if I fail, I'm definitely going to learn something from the failure. So yeah, it was just me sort of getting a, getting a hold of myself and realizing that if the worst comes to the worst, I'll just leave it. So let me just pursue this because I feel it is right for me. Yeah. Don't you think the idea that you're the only person to yourself mm -hmm. from reaching your potential? Don't you think it only applies to children like us? Uh, generally, I, I, I don't agree with that point of view. I think um, education is very important, yes, but your only limitation is yourself in the sense that, you know, I personally was not born in a, in a wealthy family, so to speak, right? We're just financially stable. But I still want to become a millionaire, right? I'm, I'm dreaming way beyond what my parents have, right? And that has nothing to do with your external circumstances. It's to do with your mindset. It's to do with the belief you have in yourself. But I think to answer your question, um, for the people that are less privileged, what they need maybe is a, um, a mentor, someone that can guide them along the lines of what they want to pursue and so on. But your only limitation is yourself in any and every sphere of life. That's what I believe. Um, just like you, I've been doing public speaking for a really long time yeah. and um, I've always wanted to be a motivational speaker. Proudly brought to you by Ego Motive, the entrepreneurial organization.